What's up everybody, 915 Mag here. Today I'm going to do an update on a store that was formerly known as Saltwater Heaven. Uh, today we are at Exotic Ocean and uh, I'm just going to do a quick tour, show you what the LFS looks like. And uh, I gotta say, so far I am pretty impressed with the shop. There's little to no flow being provided at this tank at all. And I'm going to give you a top-down shot of what I'm talking about. But what I got to say is it does look pretty sweet. Uh, the flow is being provided by the return pump. And even though this is a Red Sea tank, um, it's using the uh, spin stream uh, gadget at the end where it just randomly spins. I don't know if it's an innovative marine spin stream or if Red Sea has their own. But either way, it looks pretty cool. Of course, he's rocking the Aqua Illumination LEDs right here. Uh, they're doing really good. Usually the AI lights throw off my camera, um, but I'm just using my regular cell phone for this video, and you can see how everything is just opened up. I will do a proper update with my actual expensive video camera and the next time I'm here at the shop, but uh, I kind of just dropped in unannounced. I uh, was in the area, wanted to see what, what the store was about because I hadn't been here since it was formerly known as Saltwater Heaven. Um, I do got to say this store is pretty legit. They do have a large selection of fish, um, pretty good selection of coral, which is always nice and what I'm interested in. And uh, if you're definitely in the area, I would recommend that you guys check them out. Um, in another video, what I plan on doing is interviewing the store owner and uh, see what made him want to open up an LFS and uh, go from there. And actually why he wanted to do this as a for a living, you know, because uh, selling fish and corals is definitely not easy. Uh, you got to have your stuff together. And like I said, here in my area, uh, I have... A variety of stores that I could go to at any time and uh, you know you have to have be special because if you your store is not all that then you know people aren't always going to go back to it but exotic ocean definitely has my uh, attention they definitely are on my radar and I uh, will be back and do a second interview buy some more corals um, like I said I was just in the area and which is why I didn't really have uh, my expensive camera I just had my cell phone basically I really like the nice selection of rock nems. Had a whole bunch of different rock nems, you know, different colors. And I think a tank just full of rock nems would be pretty sweet. Um, you can't actually frag uh, an enemy, rock and enemies, but you can get them to spawn and then produce, grow little baby anemones. And, you know, that's the only way you can basically do it. But here today, he had a vi variety of different rock nems. Um, I wish I had my nice camera so you guys could really see the colors, but, uh, you guys get the idea. Let's take a look at some of his grow out tank right here. Uh, different corals, um, different variety. Uh, I'm still the king of Zoas. Uh, if you want Zoas, you guys hit me up, but, um, this store is looking great. You can see everything is starting to grow out and I assume that he's going to grow them out and then frag them up into little frags, affordable frags for everybody in the area. Definitely had quite a bit of uh, LPS chalices, um, different types of LPS, and everything looked good. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm sure this thing was glowing, but in my video, my cell phone really doesn't do it justice. But as you can see, lots and lots of corals. This is actually in a runway frag tank. Uh, it's one of those long frag tanks, um, really different look and it looks pretty cool once it's, you know, actually full of color. Uh, this tank, all the corals were popping pretty well. And uh, I'm going to show you another uh, runway frag tank that he has. I'm kind of excited about that one because on that one he had uh, T5s. And so you know that he's going to do like SPS frags growing in there here and make them available to everybody else. But I'll shut up here in a little bit. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about these tanks. Uh, show you the overflow. Lots of nice pieces, big pieces right here. And uh, everything looks great, like I said. 
I'm really impressed with the store. I'm not just saying that I am a, a legit critic. Uh, if the store sucks or your, your tank uh, needs improvement, I'll, I'll, you know, let you guys know in a nice way. But uh, today, you know, just for dropping in and everything, it looks really good. I wish I had a better, uh, my better camera, you know. I do shoot uh, with a nice camera. Usually you could tell in my videos, but today I'm just using a straight up cell phone. So let's go ahead and be quiet. I'll let you check out the video and then you guys drop it in the comments below of what you guys think of the store. I definitely think this uh, exotic ocean gives competition to the other LFS stores in my area. And that's always a good thing because as a consumer, uh, makes everybody have to step it up. If they don't step it up, then, you know, kind of don't get all the attention that uh, you deserve. So let's be quiet and check out the video. Well guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about Exotic Ocean. Um, I think it's a great store. Definitely be back. Um, would like to see some more of these zoas and corals grow out so that way they can be available. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. You guys like and subscribe and guys take care.